So here is the Marvel Select Juggernaut figure and uh, you know this is pretty much a perfect figure in my opinion. He is a little bit stylized as in you know his torso is really short in comparison to his legs but it just sort of I mean it's the Juggernaut so you can sort of get away with it I feel but like the sculpting is so good look at all this texture even here on the skin really nice shading going through all of his skin too. And uh, you, you, I don't even know if the camera picks it up. But you can see like a darker shade here. And then of course here in the middle. And he weighs like, this guy is a brick. You can murder someone with him. But um, as much as I like this figure, I also sort of, so, okay. So the head sculpt, it's good. It's very good. But I also have this head sculpt here, which I painted up quite recently. I don't know. You see the eyes in there? They were um, completely silvered out in the beginning. And uh, I just painted them up to uh, because I was bored. And I sort of came to the conclusion that I like this head more. Well, I like the, um, I like the expression more. I like this super sadistic, toothy grin. Like, he really enjoys just, like, running through things. And... Not to say that this is bad at all, because, you know, a rage fuel juggernaut is pretty much in character, but then again, so is also, like, a smash-happy juggernaut. So, um, what I was thinking, because a simple head swap just won't do, because you see how the colors don't match up, plus I like this, um, the shape of this helmet a little bit more. Uh, I'm going to try to take the, the both, both of the like the heads inside and I'm gonna see what this head here looks like inside of this one and uh, if it looks good I will probably keep it like that what I don't like about this well what most people don't like about this head is that you see how far apart the eyes are it just looks a bit weird but then again it's also like it's, it sounds like a bit of a cop out, but it's also the Juggernaut. I think he can afford being a bit stylized. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna heat up the heads and I'm gonna see what I can do. So heated it up and uh, oh, this is really pliable. So hopefully I can. Oh, yep, there we go. And um, okay. Oh, this is really hot. Um, I don't really know how you're supposed to get this out because it seems to be mm, maybe we'll um we'll heat it up a little bit more and then i'm gonna take some pliers and we'll see how it... ah how it works it's hot so there we go and if you're curious this is what it looks like and uh so we have the helmet here Okay, so uh, let's do the same thing to this head. I think this is going to be easier to remove because, you know, it's Hasbro. So let's try heating it up. Actually, before we do that, I just want to show off. Look how cool he looks. He looks so sadistic and gleefully happy to smash things. So um, obviously the, the ball doesn't fit the hole here. So I'm going to have to do something about that. But let's just work on getting the head out. So now we've heated this up and uh, maybe, hopefully, we can just... We're gonna have to do some cutting, I think, just to weaken the glue here. Looky here, there's a really cool shading thing going on here. You see how the top half is darker than this lower half? So once again, here are the heads, like, up close. And I just feel like this one is so much more expressive than this one like i don't like the mouth of this guy at all i just feel like there's more character in this one but not to say this is bad though but i definitely prefer this so i'm going to try to fit, fit it like that so i'm just gonna glue it in and then uh, we're gonna have to hollow out here so the head, um, the hole fits the fatter peg over there. So yeah. And mission accomplished! As you can see, he is very happy to have his new body and uh, I am really pleased with how this turned out.
Uh, I have the fodder here, I guess. This is the original helmet, and this is the select head. So, don't really know what to do with that. But anyway, yeah, um, I'm really happy with how it turned out. I think it looks fantastic. There is, you know, the issue, again, like I mentioned earlier, that the eyes are really far apart, but I don't know, I just really like this gleeful head. Like, oh, that looks so good. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Nothing stops me!